Amiibo Tap is free downloadable software for Wii U. Scan an Amiibo figure to access playable scenes from classic NES and Super NES games. Each figure unlocks every scene from any one game, and fortunately, I happen to have a few. You can play for three minutes per scene, and really, that's a long time in some of these games. I like seeing how far I can get within a time limit, and depending on the game, you can even head back to the map and play any level you like. The scenes are really well chosen, representing some memorable moments, and frequently, the last scene will even let you fight the final boss. Some have called these glorified demos, but thanks to the range and variety of playable scenes, I have to disagree. Kirby Superstar's soft reset still works, titles like Punch-Out are more or less completely playable, and Super Metroid lets you flip through various boss fights. It can be a lot of fun, but there's one big catch. If I want to play Super Metroid and I scan Samus, I'll just get Mario 2. Oh, of course, because when I think Super Metroid, I think Fox McCloud. And your Samus might give you something completely different. Each Amiibo inexplicably gives you access to a random game. In my case, Mega Man is Mario, Diddy is Kirby's Adventure, Sonic is Metroid, it's like a Stroop test, where you say the color and not the word, but for video games. I understand that not all these characters have titles on the eShop, but it's bizarre that software meant to push virtual console sales couldn't at least try to give you a game about a character that you're interested in. Suppose you're a kid who loves Kirby, and so he's your one amiibo. How confused and disappointed would you be if you scanned him in, and instead of playing a great Kirby game that you've never experienced before, you're treated to whatever this is supposed to be? And let's face it, if you are a hardcore Nintendo fan, you have a way to play these games anyway. If you really want to experience some of Nintendo's greatest bits, and don't have a ton of amiibo, NES Remix would be a lot more cost effective. I can't be too harsh on free software, but Nintendo designed Amiibo Tap with specific limitations that make it a value add for Amiibo, but not a reason to buy them. I see what they were going for, I just don't understand why. I mean, Amiibo are fun collectibles, but what do they do? The strength of NFC toys is that they offer functionality beyond just being a piece of plastic, but it's something Amiibo have struggled with. It seems like it'd be a no-brainer for Nintendo to just bundle the figures with virtual console downloads, but even if they merely had let you choose which game you unlock, Amiibo Tap could have been an opportunity to get people excited about Amiibo. Instead, it's just a fun diversion for speedrunners who have more Amiibo than sense. And yeah, I do include myself in that.